Hello there, all you story timers. I'm sorry I'm a bit late. I was having a bad hair day, which got me thinking about a story by Gail Gritz called Messy Hair Game. A story about two young girls who are tired of waiting on grandma. So they invent their own game to pass the time. Something tells me grandma is not going to be happy about their choice. And without further ado, sit back and relax. Rest your head. Your nose and your toes. Open your eyes and open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. Hurrah! We're going to town with Grandma! Squealed Reba. Well, if you're going with me, you must be good girls. Let's get you all cleaned up and ready to go, said Grandma. Ouch! cried Reba as Grandma combed her long, wavy brown hair. Be still, sweetheart. We need to look our best when we go to town. Grandma smiled. There you go. Now come here, Catherine. It's your turn. Catherine sat still as Grandma sculpted her hair into beautiful curls. You look like the baby doll I got for Christmas, Reba said. Now I have to tidy up round here before we head out, so you girls be good and stay clean," Grandma said. "Can we go outside to play?" Reba asked. "No," said Grandma. "You'll get hot and sweaty." "Can we color?" "No, I'm trying to get things put away. Just be patient and sit somewhere quietly," Grandma said. "Okay. Come on, Catherine. Let's go sit under the dining table." Reba called to her little sister. From under the table, the girls sat watching Grandma flit about the kitchen, putting away dishes and wiping down surfaces. She's taking forever," said Reba. "Maybe we can play a game while we wait." Then a mischievous idea popped into her head. "Mess up your hair." She whispered to her little sister. Catherine grinned and shook her head, tossing her curls from side to side. "You look so funny," whispered Reba, and the girls began to giggle. "What's going on under there?" came the call from Grandma as she peered under the table. "Well, I never. Why did you do that?" Catherine was silent as Grandma lifted her from beneath the table, untangled her golden locks, then sat her back with Reba. Just a few more minutes, girls. Please stay clean and tidy, Grandma repeated. Before long, another impish thought took hold of Reba, and she again whispered to her little sister, "Mess up your hair." Catherine giggled, ruffling the curls with her fingers. You look really funny," Reba said, and both girls broke out laughing. Grandma stooped down again. This time, her piercing eyes turned toward Reba. This was not a game Grandma was willing to play. Dashing from beneath the table, Reba bolted out the back door. Racing out the door, Reba looked over her shoulder, confident she could outrun Grandma. However, Grandma wasn't running; she was standing by the back door. Reba, I'm going in to comb Catherine's hair again. When you are ready to stop this silly game, come back into the house, and we will head to town. Reba hung her head in shame and slowly walked back to the house. I'm sorry, Grandma. Please forgive me. Oh, sweetheart, Grandma will always forgive you. After a big hug, they headed to town. 
and the girls never played the messy hair game again. Meow, meow, meow. Let this be a lesson to all you storytimers out there. One must always remember, when playing the messy hair game, it's best not to do it under the table. It's too easy to get caught. <laughs> Until next time, my young storytimers, this is Mr. Whiskers saying meow and good night. Hello everyone, Mr. Whiskers here. Enjoying our story times? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss a story. And tell your friends so they can join in the fun. Goodbye for meow.